with Google Gemini's latest third release, I've now just been able to create an entire website with a voice ad agent already built in and working within the space of just about two minutes. And it actually sounds really good. I'm honestly really surprised about this. So we're just gonna hit ask our AI expert. We need to allow the microphone access. Hello, how can you help? Hi, I'm Flo from Aquaflow Plumbing. How can I help you with your plumbing needs today? Hi, yeah, I've got a, a leaky valve on my radiator. I don't know what to do about it. I understand you have a leaky radiator valve. That's something we can definitely help with. We can send someone out to take a look and fix it for you. Great. Um, tu parles français? Oui, je parle français. Comment puis-je vous aider en français maintenant? Uh, uh, do you speak Spanish? Sí, hablo español también. ¿Qué más necesitas saber? Quite amazing. Like it's just been able to do that literally with just a single prompt. It's really quite crazy. And the amount of time and effort that would have taken before, we would have had to use a service like Lovable or Cursor just to build the website. And you know, this is a good looking website. We've got some animations. Uh, we'd obviously we'd have to replace these images with our own. These are just placeholder images that Google have put in for us. It's got our services like, you know, hover effects and animations, even like nice little shadows around it just to make them pop. It's really quite a good looking website. And then a full working voice AI agent that usually would have to use a service like Vapi or Retail to build it outright. And that would take up a lot of time. And then having to go and integrate that to work within your website, that's just all been done and handled by Google, which is really crazy. And obviously the voice agent used within AI Studio is one of Google's themselves. So it's using Google's own AI models and own voice, everything done by Google. And that's actually resulted in quite a quick response time. It really does feel like quite a, a flowing natural conversation that you can have with this. So now I think what would be useful is you need to see it to believe it. Let's go and create another website right now using this prompt as a template. And then we'll head our way over to aistudio.google.com. That's where they have their own AI models. We're going to go on the build tab on the left. And here we go. We've got a chat bot. We have a, a chat box here. We can talk to it and we're going to be using Gemini three pro preview. That's the, the most latest one. Hopefully in the future, we'll have the actual non preview version Gemini three pro. So obviously there's a, this is very new. It's going to be better than it is now. And obviously Google will be releasing more models in the future. There might be a 3.5 model coming in a few months time. Who knows where well, this is just going to get better and better. So really, this is just the start of adding voice AI to your websites and it being simpler than ever. So let's paste it in. We're going to be going for creating a full website for this time. Let's go for a landscaping company. Let's see how that does. So full website for a landscaping company. And we want to integrate a voice agent into that that will help the visitors to understand the services, ask questions and guide them to the right spot. It's actually really vague and I wouldn't actually use this if I really wanted to go and build something that would be used live, but it just shows you how little it can go off and how good it is working out the box with such a simple prompt. And we can even put in things like, here's our branding colors, here is our logo, here's our name. We can provide a lot more information. And if we like, we can even just speak our mind out. Uh, it doesn't matter how this is worded because Gemini is really good at building it just off whatever information you provide it. So it doesn't require any expertise using a service like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit build. And we see that takes us to this menu before that you saw. And you know, this is actually very similar to any other code builders. If you've ever tried one of those such as Lovable, um, it is just a normal chat that we can interact with the builder. We can see the code here. Uh, we can configure and actually edit the codes. So if anyone's got experience on knowing how to code or you just want to make tiny little changes that sometimes it's just easier to find it in the code itself, you can do that right now. And you can see, look, it's literally building it in front of our very eyes, even setting up all the voice agent stuff for us. And we'll just leave that there for now. What we want to now see is what we can do with this app because there's a few little options in the top right of the screen. Obviously, we can save it, but What's really great and how I really like particularly about Google Studio is there is a lot of flexibility with how you can get your app off their services. So you've basically created this whole app for free. And what we can do now is straight up download it. We can take all the files off. It will provide it as a zip file for us. 
uh, that we then go and use on any other services out there. And without having to go and copy and paste the files ourselves, we can save it to our own GitHub account immediately without having to do any file downloads, moving or dragging, really kept it nice and simple. But then uh, the even simpler option next is that Google themselves can deploy the app for you. So they call it an app, it's a website, um, and it will behave just like a website. We'll have its own domain. We can configure all that. Um, obviously, I, I can't be deploying it now, but what would actually happen, we'd go and you can create a project. You probably wouldn't have any here. I've got one here. You'd now have to go through setting up the billing for that account because although it is free to be creating all these websites, um, we still would need to use Google's own API for hosting the voice agent. And now that would be at a per minute usage model. But since this is really early days, I'm sure there'll be a lot more information and transparency that you can see by looking for your own Google Cloud account to see what kind of cost you might expect. I haven't given this enough of a try to see really what the what the price comparisons is to other AI agents out there. So we can see it's already been built. Uh, just allow access to your microphone for this to work. And already we've got a nice background picture and it's, it's even chosen a garden picture. So immediately, you know, it's given it green thumb as the name. We can change that if we wanted to. It's given it a basic logo for now. All the types of different pages that we'd want to have. Comparing that to, for example, the plumbing company. Services, about us testimonials. It's chosen portfolio, about services, contact. It's, it's actually configured it directly to what it thinks would be useful for a landscaping company, different to what a plumbing company would need, which is really great. And so before we actually had it, the button directly on the main part of the website, we've now instead for this one, it's decided that it'd be good to have a little microphone button in the corner. I personally would probably change this up a bit. It's not very clear what this button would do. Um, oh, it's even got a nice little arrow. So let me, let me make this full page. That's one of the nice things. We've got a button up here so we can do that just to preview what our website we like. It's clearly it's gone for the green theme. It's even changed the actual uh, scroll bar here to go with that green effect. It's got really nice images, a bit more information about us, and even the contact form. This is really great. I, I, something I didn't really expect. And even the sort of services that we offer, it's, um, obviously we'd want to change up some of these information here to be actually our own. But uh, let's, let's see if the actual voice agent is any good to prove this to you. So um, we're gonna start a conversation. Hello. Hi there. Welcome to Green Thumb Landscapes. How can I help you today? Hi, I was wondering about getting a new patio in my garden. What sort of things would you recommend for it? We specialize in hardscaping, which includes patios. We can work with pavers, stone, or concrete, depending on the look you want and your budget. Do you have a particular style in mind? There we go. So yeah, it's all integrated to work out the box. And now if we wanted to go any further with this, we can immediately deploy it, um, take all that, extract it away, and have this as a working website with our own URL directly with our own brand name. So really what this has meant is the floor now of where you should be with your website and with your AI voice agents, it's really raised that floor. So what is going to be acceptable when you're dealing with clients? Because nowadays it's very easy to get a good looking website, a basic voice AI agent, that can do a few tasks for you. Customers will be pretty impressed with this. And soon this will become the, the standard you'd have to keep up with. And I'm sure people are gonna have to do a lot more to stand out in a market like this. But if you don't make those changes, don't have a simple voice agent, which will become standard, I'm sure, it's gonna be quite difficult to, to really keep going in a market that is really moving at such a rate, but it's much easier to get there now. So I'm going to be really interested to see what the kind of competitors are going to be doing to take this kind of thing on, because this is Google really flexing the muscles that they've got every single end to end part of your system from the website deployment to the actual voice agents, both the speech, the, the text, all the brains behind it. The whole process Google have now managed to integrate all together. And this is just the very much start. So I'm very excited to see how much further Google will take it and how the competitor is going to respond to this because a lot of them are not having a full platform that they can do every single step of this. So it's going to be really interesting to see and it's certainly worth keeping an eye on the space.